Four straight wins saw Western Bulldogs climb to ninth on the ladder and coach Rodney Ede retained the team which upset Carlton by 27 points. North Melbourne finally lost patience with Lindsay Thomas and his goal-kicking woes, one of four changes after Collingwood caned the Kangaroos by 117 points. North had lost the last four against the Bulldogs, including the latest two by at least 70. Drew Petrie kick-started the Kangaroos before they went down the middle to generate their second. Pedersen to Wells. Petrie wants it long again. Ignored again. Candle. He could go for goal. No one in the square. Drives it long. Sensational. Jared Grant and Liam Jones replied for Western Bulldogs to nose in front before Robert Murphy spotted the Kangaroos gate wide open. And he goes for goal from outside 50. Delightful. 14 goals in the past five matches, Daniel Gian Syracuse showed the confidence in his game before Barry Hall set a league milestone. And Barry Hall has now kicked 100 goals for three different clubs. A milestone for him. A high tackle on Campbell saw North Melbourne end the Bulldogs' five goal burst. It's a two goal game. North trails by two goals at quarter time before Petrie short circuited the Bulldogs' handball sequence. Spins out of trouble, goes for goal. This will bring the house down. Amazing goal. Lachlan Hansen assumed the front position and converted the mark to wipe the deficit. And in the blink of an eye, North Melbourne back in front. Tom Williams' commitment couldn't be argued. Just look at the loyalty of those Bulldog supporters over there. They were so concerned about uh, Williams that they didn't reach for their beer. <laughs> Playing with an injured thumb, Brent Harvey picked off the Bulldogs' pass. Stole it back and kicks the goal. Yeah, Big right, time yeah. boomer. Hall rediscovered speed not seen for years. Made it tough for him. He turns the lady inside out, runs inside, that's kicks the wall goal. All class. From there, North Melbourne scooted clear with 19-year-old Kieran Harper showing great poise from distance. Oh, the kid, at your age! Then Cameron Pedersen, a former forklift driver with Bunnings, pushed the Kangaroos four goals in front. At half-time, North Melbourne 11-7-73, Western Bulldogs 7-4-46. It just keeps getting better! Shortly after the break, Hanson created the biggest gap in the game. What a kick that is! Squeezes it in. Wells then gave the dogs a bone. A oh, turnover. Wells gave it to Jan Syracuse. A gift. Matthew Boyd chanced his leg from outside 50. Keeps it low and drives it through. Aaron Edwards piggybacked a 50 metre penalty to land his second before Western Bulldogs waged another response. Hudson lopes his way. Dalhouse could be the inspiration. A rare injection into attack from Daniel Cross cut the margin to three goals. Rarely shoots a goal from 50, drives it long, touched on the line, or a goal! First goal of the year for Daniel Cross. The chant grew louder from the Bulldogs and they responded. First through Hall, before Luke Dalhouse timed his charge to the second. Still time, Barry Hall. Western Bulldogs within a kick at the final change. Both coaches went to work, eager to get their charges to lift for the final term. And the Dogs responded first, thanks to Scott McMahon's misfortune. Sits up a little, getting back, he left it behind. Hooper off the deck. The Bulldogs in front. Lee Adams with the sixth lead change in the match. Gee, struck it well. North Bellman back in front. Paul regained it for Western Bulldogs with his fourth. Pedersen tugged it back for the Kangaroos. That is a gem. Paul then booted his fifth as Josh Hill and Liam Picken gave each other a facial. There's Josh Hill and Picken banging into each other. But... Petrie's third pushed North two goals clear with eight minutes remaining. Harvey lengthened the margin less than two minutes later. Runs to 48. He is a sensation, Brett Harvey. Petrie finished with five as the Kangaroos' bounce back from the Collingwood thrashing was complete. Full-time North Melbourne 21-16, 142. Western Bulldogs 17-9, 111. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.